towards the winner. As crazy as this game was, wasn't it? Wasn't that crazy? I mean, I, I don't, I'm getting too wide. I can't take these anymore. <laughs> what, what does it say about Josh that he could come back and make those two throws? Yeah, I mean, what, I mean, just by the whole kids, what a gritty, gritty. You know, we were obviously half a step off on a lot of stuff today. Offense, we couldn't stay on the field. Our defense did a great job. You know, I mean, I think they played like 800 plays today. Um, and then, you know, the start of the second half, there at the end of the game, you know, Josh came in and just made, you know, a couple kids made some great plays. And, well, just you know, specifically those two throws after what had happened just before. Yeah, he fumbles. You know, we give him a touchdown. And he comes back out. He never blinked. You know, the kids never blinked. Um, you know, I wish they would. I wish they wouldn't not blink as much. But uh, you know, it was it was fun to watch those go watch them. I mean, you know, we had a couple kids go down and some young guys go go in there and, and play and did a great job for us. What happened to Perkins? Um, you know, I think he was just a little sore from the. A week, a week ago, I'm not sure. So it's, it's not a new injury. I don't know. I'm not allowed to talk about that stuff. What do you do when you look in general today, Paul, coming back from last week? Um, I shoot. I didn't know he was that fast on that touchdown. But that was a hell of a call. I don't know who called that one. That was a great call. Um, yeah, he broke. He, he broke that, and uh, you know, I think he had that in the screen. He scored on. That was Paul. I mean, I'm kind of used to it now. I don't know. It it's nothing unusual to watch him make those kind of plays. Paul looked like he was loose and warmed up after that 82 yard touchdown run, but it was one play in 19 and a half minutes. Do you have to get the rest of the offense still warming up? Or what are they <laughs> yes. doing back there? Yeah, I don't know. We just could not, you know, we just miss a slant or miss one block here or whatever, and we just couldn't keep ourselves on the field. So it was a, it was, a, it was truly a famine, famine feast. Mm -hmm. uh, day for us. But are you sitting back there when they're when they're not on the field? And are you just talking to them, or what, what are they doing back there? For what is who doing? The the, the offense. They were on the one play in 19 and a half minutes. Are you are you talking with Josh? What are you doing for? Yeah, that's kind of what we do. We don't, if we're on the play, if we're on the field for 19 plays yeah. in a row, or on the play for one play, we always talk, coach our kids, and we're doing series. Right. I mean, I don't understand the question. Well, I, did you run out of things to talk about? Oh, because because so we were standing there for so yeah. long. No, I mean, you just, I don't know, you kind of think, talk to the kids, what's looking good, what's bad, what do you feel good with, you know, wait to get back on the field. Based on how that unfolded and all the injuries, it, I kind of feel like in hearing everybody talk, it's almost like the game plan was on a piece of paper, you guys all crunched it up and tossed it away and had to improvise so much, so much. Is that accurate with what happened? No, no, not really. I mean, there's always in every game, there's some things that maybe, were, you know, if you play here or there, one in your game plan. Uh, that when you see how they're playing you, you know, you talk, you talk it through, you know, <laughs> while you're on the sideline and say, okay, listen, next time we get this look, man, we're, instead of, instead of, I'm going to tag it with this instead of that, but no. The 19 minutes, from your perspective, what challenges does that present in terms of just staying in sync, staying warm? Well, I mean, the challenge for us is we need to get our defense off the field, you know. I mean, those cats play like 114 plays, so we got to go out and, you know, it was kind of weird because we either go out and, and put him right back on because it was three and punt, or we go back on and Paul goes 80 in one play. Yeah. You know, it was kind of a weird. It was a weird afternoon that way. Seeing Paul go 80, especially coming off the injury and the knee, refreshing. I mean, you wouldn't have played him unless you knew he was healthy. But to see what he did. Yeah, yeah. But you know, like I said, that's you know, that's all of us, right? We've come to expect that from that kid. Sure. Yeah, to make plays when you know at a point when we needed somebody to step up and make a play.